Hello everyone, I'm Catherine, I'm the Physics Access Officer at Oxford University and today I'm going to be having a look at how I would solve question one from the 2012 PAT paper. Uh, it's quite a nice short question, we've got it here. It says, find the area between y equals x squared and y equals mod x, that's the modulus of x. So let's understand what's going on here by sketching these curves. So uh, let's put some uh, axes in here. Uh, so if that's x and that is y, our first curve is y equals x squared. So that's going to look uh, it's just going to be our normal quadratic through zero. Something like that. And then we've got this y equals mod x. So again, uh, for x is positive, that's straightforward, that's just y equals x. So straight line gradient of 1, going to come out something like that. And when uh, x is negative, um, it's essentially the opposite. So it's y equals the modulus of negative x, i.e. it's the same straight line. Um, so something like that, or hopefully a little bit more symmetric maybe. Um, Okay, so this is essentially y equals x, this is essentially y equals minus x, and this is our y equals x squared. All right, so what we want is the area between y equals x squared and y equals mod x. So that's uh, this section here and this section here. And the whole problem is symmetric about the y-axis. So this area here is going to be the same as this area here, even if that's maybe not quite what my sketch seems to be showing. It's certainly what is intended. So how about we just find that area and double it? And we can do that if we find the area under y equals x, and then we subtract the area under y equals x squared, that will give us that little shape there, and then we can double it to get the total area for the two sides. So first of all, we need to find out what that point there is. So uh, that is going to be the point where the two lines cross, i.e. x equals x squared. Uh, let's label this as point A. So point A, at A, x equals x squared. So 0 equals x squared minus x. Factoring out the x, we have x brackets x minus 1 equals 0. So uh, x equals 0 or x equals 1. Uh, so the two curves cross at the origin and they also cross here, so this must be x equals 1. Okay, so now we know what we've got to do is we've got to integrate under these curves between 0 and 1. So let's do that. So we're going to do y equals x first. So we're going to find the integral from 0 to 1 of uh, x dx, which is going to be... Uh, uh, integral of x is going to be x squared over 2 between 0 and 1. So that is going to give us... 1 half minus 0, which is just a half. Then we want the uh, area under y equals x squared. So then we want the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared with respect to x. And that is going to give us x cubed over 3 from, again, 0 to 1, which is going to be one third minus zero, which equals one third. So we're going to do uh, the triangle minus the sort of curvy bit, i.e. the area under y minus x minus the area under y equals x squared. So that is uh, a half minus a third. So uh, a half minus a third equals a sixth. And that is the area of this shaded side just on this right hand half. So total area 
is going to be 2 times that. 2 times a sixth, which equals 1 third. So that is how I would solve this problem, question 1 on the 2012 pat paper. Hope that was useful, and I hope we see you again for another one of these short pat videos. Thanks everyone!